Welcome back to Emergent Technology. Thank you very much for joining us today. And today's a pretty awesome day because Adobe released the beta version of Adobe Premiere Pro for the new Apple M1 chip. Now, this is something we've been looking forward to because we've only been able to see the translated performance of Adobe Premiere and other Adobe Creative Suite apps on the new M1 chip. And uh, we've been really wanting to know is performance going to be much better with that new M1 chip using native software? So here we go. Um, you know, this is a work in progress, of course, because it is a beta, and it's not a completely stable beta either, I do want to note. Over the course of this testing and subsequently trying to actually edit this video in Premiere Pro, the beta, I've found that the stability is quite poor and it crashed a number of times. So I actually resorted to editing this video in the x86-based Premiere Pro just for that stability and to get through the project. So let's get right into it. First test is going to be with the x86 based Premiere Pro. We're exporting a 4K video file from one of my prior videos that I've done on this channel. We're exporting this video at 150 megabits. And the first thing that you'll notice about this is that the estimate for the file size is actually fairly accurate for the most part. As we go through this video, which I'm going to speed up significantly here, if you draw your attention over to the activity monitor, what you're going to notice is that Premiere Pro is in fact using multiple threads and or cores because the CPU usage is in fact over 100%. Now I've opened up uh, an app over here that will let us know what the temperatures are like. And I don't really know if the M1 MacBook Pro actually has this many temperature sensors inside. But what I'm seeing across the board is that even with the GPU, we are not exceeding 65 or so degrees Celsius, which to me is pretty impressive considering just how hot the i5 or Intel based MacBook Pros can get. They can approach and even exceed 100 degrees C with full CPU use. One more thing in general I will note is that the fan didn't really kick in until we got about 25% through the process. So that first test with the X86 based Premiere Pro ended up being 13 minutes and 40 seconds to produce that file. Now we're gonna get right into the uh, beta version of Premiere Pro. And the first thing that you'll see is that it opens up real fast. I think it opens up two or three times faster than it did on the X86 translated version. This is faster than my uh, 9700 FPC very, very, very fast. And so we're getting right into this export here. Uh, again, this is the same file, same settings. And what you notice here is that the estimated file size for this is well over 100 gigs, if I'm doing my math correctly. And this doesn't make any sense. And of course, the output file in the end was not 100 gigs. It was almost exactly the same size as the uh, x86-based Premiere Pro export. But I think it's just a glitch in the beta. So one of many things that will be ironed out in the end once uh, Adobe comes out with a finalized version that is a non-beta. I'd like to draw your attention now to the CPU percentage and GPU percentage utilization in Activity Monitor. We're seeing CPU usage down in the 120 range and we're seeing GPU usage down in the 13 to 15% range, which is actually quite astonishing in my opinion. Now I'm going to spoil this surprise by a few seconds here and just say that the render time between the two versions of Premiere Pro is almost identical. This surprises me a little bit as I thought that the M1 optimized version would be faster, but really what we're seeing the optimization accomplish is a dramatic reduction in CPU and GPU utilization, which I believe will show its advantages in battery life. So uh, that's really it for this comparison, guys. Thanks for stopping by. If you like this video, please do not forget to click that like button and subscribe for more emergent technology videos. Again, thanks for stopping by and enjoy your day. Cheers.